Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Roz Abrams. I'm Jim Rosenfield. This summer swelter tops our news with high temperatures taking a toll throughout the area. A labor of love. A local man goes above and beyond to save the music and some local history. A Brooklyn man goes to extreme lengths to save this music. Overreaction or extra protection? Why some Long Island residents are outraged. Coming up, a Brooklyn man's musical mission to save an organ and a local piece of history. Then at 6, find out where you can get a little piece of the Jersey Shore without leaving the city. It's one of the reasons you like to go to church. It's to hear the organ being played. Well, we've got the church for you in Flatbush. CBS 2's Maury Alter tells us it's all thanks to the tenacious work of one man. Here's one about a kid from Brooklyn who eventually moves away to New Jersey but never forgets the fabulous old pipe organ at his Holy Innocence Church in Flatbush. I was just captivated by this instrument. It was a 1923 Skinner built for the church, which was built in 23 as well. Beautiful church, heck of an organ. They were the finest instrument built at during that period. But that was then, and this was 2004. This organ was literally on its last leg. And Al Cressy was now a school vice principal in Perth Amboy, spending every spare minute researching his beloved Skinner so he could pitch its restoration to a foundation that loves those old organs almost as much as Al does. The organ cost 14000 and change new, saving it many times that. But like the Monsignor says of Al... He can sell you the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> The foundation gave the church $310,000, and after a half year of restoration by John Pergallo Jr., sons and grandson, their Patterson-based pipe organ companies older than the Skinner, the octogenarian organ was back in Brooklyn, better than ever, with authentic but added <laughs> bells and whistle. A tuba magna, which is really a Skinner tuba magna. <laughs> to a chorus of cheers. This has lifted the parish considerably. Like uh, music in the heaven. I had goosebumps on my arms and I, I was just moved to tears. It was just breathtaking. It almost blew me off this chair. It was a dream come true. Pipe dream? Pipe dream, yes. Now, Al, who's never stopped attending Holy Innocence and serves as its music director, has another cause, restoring the whole church. The stone needs attention, the glass has issues, so does the roof. We're probably talking about 1.5 to $2 million. That'll take some selling. I think we can do it. And Al did sell us the story. And I think that should be a higher K. Especially when he changed his tune. <laughs> to the two tune on Tuba Magna. Maury Alter, CBS 2 News. <laughs> Sounds great. Yep, know it that does. Tune. It's familiar. Yeah, it's very familiar. familiar. For many, many years yes. here. So, Johnny B., we've yes. sort of busted part of this humidity, yeah. but not all of it. You're right.